So having interviewed like all of the artists so far this season, we're now here with the, I think we can call them Master of Ceremonies. <laughs> That's a good Start one, isn't it? The show. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy Durant, who's done a few interviews himself and now we're going to interview to ask all kinds of questions about Ibiza from New York Alive. Excellent. I never get interviewed, so I'm always the one holding the mic, so this is quite exciting. And it has been an exciting season so far for you. You've been jetting backwards and forwards all summer so far. Yeah, we've had a, an awesome few weeks. I mean, what are we on, week four or five? Five, now? five. Uh, I know everyone from Rizzle Kicks to Professor Green to, well, it's just been, it's been crazy, really. Of course, tonight we've got DJ Fresh down there as well, who's smashing it up. Dubstep arrived at Eden, which it is did. exciting. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been pretty amazing. The Mallorca live stuff we've been doing on Sundays at BCM and then out in the square to like 5,000 people. So it's been immense. I think a good start to the season, really. Your first year as resident, so to speak, but you've been to and fro from these islands for a fair few years now. Um, just tell us a little bit about your background and obviously a little bit about capital as well. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, we've been... Yeah, for, for years coming out to Ibiza, and myself and, and uh, Nick Riley, my sort of music and, and production partner, we've we've done everything from the the creams at Amnesia's. We did a couple of years with Tiesto at Privilege, which is which is pretty cool. And this year was uh, a bit of a it's a new challenge, really. It's something really exciting. We're bringing live acts in, and for me, it's about you know changing up the music style as well, doing more of the stuff that I do on my Capital shows, which is just like I guess all the world's best electronic music really so that's you know house and dubstep and drum and bass and uh, and everything else in between really so that that for me has been a bit of a challenge and been, been really exciting so I'm, I'm loving it absolutely loving it and a lot of people don't realize um even though the two islands are quite close i mean they're, it's only like half hour flight they're quite different aren't they yeah they're really different and i don't really even know how to put it into words but they are kind of they've got totally different atmospheres and vibes and the people seem to be in, in different kind of moods but Weirdly, them being so different, they're also exactly the same. You know what I mean? The people are there. They've worked hard all year to earn some money to to come out on a, a week or two week holiday, and they're really going to like let rip, and they do on both Mallorca and Ibiza, which is why it's one of the best places in the world to come and party and to play as well. And we're sat obviously on the terrace in Eden in Ibiza now, but you were in Mallorca just earlier today and, and got jetted in, private jetting. It's, it's <laughs> embarrassingly rock and roll. Um, <laughs> we, do, we do this every Tuesday, we do the, the square at BCM in Mallorca and then we have to get us and the artists and all the bands onto two little jets, fly over here and we can walk straight into the club and do it all again. So it's pretty... I'm not going to say it's gruelling because no one's going to take any pity on, on somebody who jets about in a private jet, but it's uh, it's been pretty intense, but you know, that's all the, all the fun of the fair, I guess. I was going to say, you're probably going to have some stories to tell at the end of the season, but has yeah. there been any highlights so far in both locations? I think the bet. well, DJ Fresh tonight was stunning. He was absolutely brilliant. And I think for me, the highlight so far was probably Example. Example DJ Wire. Over at, um, over at BCM and of course we've got him right here next week so I, I cannot wait for that. Elliot is one of the best entertainers in, in Britain right now so if you're coming over you have to be here next Tuesday for, uh, for example down at Ibiza Live. And you just said what you're most excited about for next week but anything else that you're excited about for the rest of the summer? I don't know, I just, we're just trying to get through one week at a time, you know, we've got, I think we've got... Some huge acts here though, some yeah. huge acts. Yeah, I mean, the, for the next few weeks, so it's Example next week, then it's Dizzy Rascal, then it's Jesse J, and it just goes on and on, so, yeah, I think we're just taking it one week at a time, uh, and of course we've got gigs back in the UK, we've got the radio shows on cap, I think we're in Finland on Saturday night, so it's pretty much non-stop now, I'm just trying to be a relatively good dad and husband in the few days that I get at home and uh, yeah then we're back and the craziness starts so it's, it's pretty awesome yeah so family man jet setter master of ceremonies Andy Durant <laughs> give us a closing comment for your interview here in Ibiza if you are at all thinking about coming to Ibiza or Mallorca get yourself to Ibiza Live to Mallorca Live it is seriously one of the best parties you've ever been to and uh, of course you'll meet the lovely Vicky as well <laughs> we'll see you there